Hello, and welcome back to Futuristic Tech and AI. After learning about the importance of quantum computers over classical computers, we are in a position to understand and learn a very important and fascinating topic today, named as Quantum Teleportation Protocol. Before jumping to Teleportation Protocol, we will be shedding some light to quantum gates and quantum entanglement. So, let's get started. Quantum Gates in quantum computing, and specifically the quantum circuit model of computation, a quantum logic gate, or simply quantum gate, is a basic quantum circuit operating on a small number of qubits. They are the building blocks of quantum circuits, like classical logic gates are for conventional digital circuits. Unlike many classic logic gates, quantum logic gates are reversible. However, it's possible to perform classic computing using only reversible gates. Single Qubit Logic Gate Unlike the gates in the classical domain, the quantum gates also work on single or multiple qubits for processing. Hadamard logic gate in quantum domain is an example of a single bit gate. The Hadamard gate is a single qubit operation that maps the basis state 0 to 0 plus 1 divided by 2 and 1 to 0 minus 1 divided by 2, thus creating an equal superposition of the two basis states. 2 qubit logic gate the CNOT gate is an example of two qubit operation, where the first qubit is usually referred to as the control qubit, and the second qubit as the target qubit or controlled qubit. Expressed in basis states, the CNOT gate leaves the control qubit unchanged and performs a poly X gate on the target qubit when the control qubit is in state 1. Leaves the target qubit unchanged when the control qubit is in state 0. Poly X basically is NOT gate. Quantum Entanglement Quantum entanglement is a property of a set of subatomic particles, whereby a quantum characteristic of one of the particles is directly and immediately correlated with the equivalent characteristic of the others, regardless of separation in space. To understand entanglement, Schrodinger used a teaching tool, Schrodinger Cat, to illustrate how some people were misinterpreting quantum mechanics. In Schrodinger's imaginary experiment, you place a cat in a box with a tiny bit of radioactive substance. When the radioactive substance decays, it triggers a Geiger counter, which causes a poison or explosion to be released that kills the cat. Now, the decay of the radioactive substance is governed by the laws of quantum mechanics. This means that the atom starts in a combined state of going to decay and not going to decay. If we apply the observer-driven idea to this case, there's no conscious observer present. Everything is in a sealed box, so the whole system stays as a combination of the two possibilities. The cat ends up both dead and alive at the same time, because the existence of a cat that is both dead and alive at the same time is absurd and does not happen in the real world, this thought experiment shows that the wave function collapses are not just driven by conscious observers. Quantum Teleportation the technique which is used to transfer the information from one source, sender, to another source, receiver, quantum mechanically is called quantum teleportation. It's the concept that enables us to distribute quantum entanglement over large distances, and allowing to build quantum communication channel on such a large scale, also to build quantum network on a global scale. To see how this works, let's go through the basic formalism. Alice and Bob share an entangled pair of particles. Alice applies a CNOT gate. Alice applies a Hadamard gate. Alice measures her pair. Alice contacts Bob on a classical communications channel and tells him her measurement result. Bob measures using a measurement operator. So, using this protocol, it's been proved that an unknown state from Alice is transferred to Bob. Teleportation Quantum Mechanical Circuit in Detail this piece of work here is that Alice wishes to use the teleportation protocol to send an unknown state to Bob. The unknown state is a qubit. Alice interacts the qubit psi with her half of the EPR pair, and then measures the two qubits in her possession, obtaining one of the four possible classical results, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. She sends this information to Bob. Depending on Alice's classical message, Bob performs one of four operations on his half of the EPR pair. Amazingly, by doing this, he can recover the original state psi. The EPR pair is basically a shared entanglement channel between two parties. One half belongs to Alice and the other half to Bob. The state is to be teleported as psi is equal to alpha 0 plus beta 1, where alpha and beta are unknown amplitudes. Alice sends her qubits through a CNOT gate. 
She then sends the first qubit through a Hadamard gate. This state may be rewritten in the following way, simply by regrouping terms. This expression naturally breaks down into four terms. The first term is Alex qubits in the state 00, zero and Bob's qubit in the state alpha 0 plus beta 1, which is then the original state psi. If Alice performs a measurement and obtains the result 00, zero then Bob's system will be in the state psi. Similarly, from the previous expression, we can read off Bob's post-measurement state, given the result of Alice's measurement. Depending on Alice's measurement outcome, Bob's qubit will end up in one of these four possible states. Of course, to know which state it's in, Bob must be told the result of Alice's measurement. We'll show later that this is in fact which prevents teleportation from being used to transmit information faster than light. Once Bob has learned the measurement outcome, Bob can fix up his state, recovering psi by applying the appropriate quantum gate. For example, in the case where the measurement yields 0, 0, Bob doesn't need to do anything. If the measurement is 0, 1, then Bob can fix up his state by applying the X gate. If the measurement is 1, 0, then Bob can fix up his state by applying the Z gate. If the measurement is 1, 1, then Bob can fix up his state by applying first an X and then a Z gate. Summing up, Bob needs to apply the transformation Z measurement and X measurement. Note how time goes from left to right in circuit diagrams, but in matrix products terms on the right happen first, to his qubit, and then he will recover the state psi. Thank you for joining us in the video. Was this video informative and should we create similar videos? Feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and watch other amazing videos.